to Heyday, guys, our last time together. We're going to have a good time. We're going to kick it out right, right? We're going to have a wonderful time today. Thank you, parents, for coming and all of you that are out there today. We're glad that you're here. We had an amazing week in, and um, we did something every day after we had class and um, games and our, um, what else we, crafts, games, and Bible stories. We did some camp chant songs, and so we're going to do those again just to kick off our morning here at VBS. So let's have our farm hands come up here, and they're going to make everyone stand up. I'll tell you right now. So everybody's got to stand up. And we are going to um, do some fun stuff just to get us loosened up a little bit. So everybody has to participate, remember? No spectators, participators. Okay. I think you got it. All right. You ready, guys? Ready, Jordan? All right. without some fun chanting songs. It's not VBS. That's what we decided. All right. Well, we're going to introduce some people here. Where's my farmhand, Marla? Me and Marla kind of were the MCs this week here at Hey Day. Don't you like our stage? We've got a lot of things growing back there. Yes. Got our corn. 
Oh, yeah, and there was New Gene. He was a part of it this week. And our pig. <laughs> and we had New Gene here. Did you have fun this week? That's right. I learned a lot this week. Amen. I'm glad you learned a lot. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an awful good farmer now. Well, praise God. He learned a lot, didn't you, boys and girls? We'll have to he talk did. about that in a little bit. But, New Gene, we're going to get ready and sing. Are you ready to sing? I don't know if I can sing, but I can shake a leg with him. I'm going to shake a leg. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to do a song this morning. It talks about praise him. It talks about praising him in the morning, praise, praise him in the noontime, praise him all day long. And we want everyone to stand up and sing along with us. This is our praise and worship time. So please praise and worship with us this morning. Everyone stand up. All right, kids, ready? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. We played a game all week. The kids really have enjoyed it, and I know you adults are going to enjoy it too, okay? Because the inner kid in you gets to come out, okay? So, if you have a birthday in January, February, or March, what animal are they, guys? You are a cow. And when our farm hands, the cows, raise their hand, their pictures, we make the loud can okay all right the next group of animals hold on we're gonna all do it together in just a minute okay we had January February March April May and June what animal are they guys roosters this one's fun okay so get your little thing right here and your loudest okay April May and June July, August, and September, what animal are they? Cheeps. Little peeps. Cheep, 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 peep, peep. And last but not least is October, November, and December. If you have a birthday in those months, you are a little sheep. Uh, all right, you let's go sheep. stomp your little yeah. feet in that. Okay, we've all had practice. When all the farmhands raise their pictures, 
All our farm noises are going to come out all at one time. You keep making those noises until the pictures go down. Okay? One, Big two, loud, everyone. three, go! Yeah. Yeah. Good job. You guys made this farm seem real. We got some animal noises and we're ready to sing about getting a little crazy. Are you guys ready to get a little crazy this morning? I think this is our favorite song. So we're going to sing it big and loud. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, we're all in this together and we're having fun. We're here to spread the love of God to everyone We're gonna get a little crazy in a little while Here we go now, come give it a try Move it to the left now Move it to the right Find someone you don't know at kids church don't we <laughs> all right i'm already wore out guys this is my third time doing it and i'm already wore out well we want to tell you a little bit of what we learned about this week um but before we do we're going to introduce some people that helped me a lot so everyone can have a seat for like two minutes and then we'll have you back up but i would like for um our adventure story leaders to come up and then we had the games which was Carmelita, what was your cog wild games? Yeah. And then we had our crafts. Those were the three stations that the kids visited um, each night. And we we're going to let you kind of see what they did and hear what they did, know what they did. So we'll first let um, Danielle go first. Danielle's a very crafty person, and she made these crafts so adorable. But they made a barnyard. A bar- birdhouse. Birdhouse. Like a barnyard. Yes. And then they made magnets. 
there was like a horse, a lamb, a cow, a puppy dog, and a kitty cat. So they got to take home some magnets to put on the refrigerator to remember what this weekend was about, as well as this cute little birdhouse. Isn't that cute? Yes. Come on, guys. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Danielle, for helping us out this week. Okay, Carmelita? That's what you did. Hello, everybody. It was a huge blessing to be a part of Vacation Bible School with all of our youth, and you guys did a fantastic job. We had fun, didn't we? We learned how to make new friends, and we learned that Jesus will always be our friend. And the theme was growing in friendship with God. And I believe that we all did that, and we also learned how to grow in relationship with each other and with our parents and our church. I think we grew a whole lot in the last two days. So it was really nice to get to spend some time with each other. Our activities were, it was such a blessing to be able to get to connect our games to God and the purpose of what he serves, what we can do for him. So we, one of the activities that we did, we had some piglets, which were balloons, and they had shaving cream all over them, which were very dirty, and the children had spray bottles, and it was a competition to spray off the balloons to try to clean them off, and whichever group can clean them off the best first won. So in connection with that, we realized that we were washing off the sin. Jesus died for us to wash off the sin. So we learned that when we trust in God and Jesus, the dirt will be, it, we will be cleansed from it. And then the balloon, the piggy, it was all clean and you would never have noticed that it was dirty ever. Thank you guys. We did story time, and the first night we learned about Zacchaeus. And does anybody remember what Zacchaeus did? <laughs> he did. He was a tax collector who stole money. He was greedy, and he was a cheater. But Jesus was his friend and forgave him anyway and loved him. And then the second night, we talked about the friendship between Jesus and Peter and how Peter betrayed Jesus. But Jesus forgave him and how Jesus died on the cross so that he could forgive all of us too, because he loves us. All right. So our Bible point was Jesus will always love us. And then what do we say? Oh, come on. Jesus will always love us. Do you remember our Bible verse? Does anybody remember it? You know it, Marcus? You, what is it? Come up here. Do you know it? You got to be for sure. You for sure? We love Jesus. Yeah, that's one thing we learned this week is we love Jesus. Do you remember our Bible verse, though? No. Does anyone remember our Bible verse? Do you? Oh, come on up here, buddy. Our Lord Jesus has made us friends of God. That's right. Good job. Our Lord Jesus has made us friends of God. That's found in Romans chapter 5, verse 11. And that was our focus this week. And that's what we learned about is Jesus being our friend. Right now, we're going to get ready, and we're going to introduce our favorite person this week. I thought I was until he came along. <laughs> then I found out I'm not their favorite anymore. But um, he was great to have along with us this week. He, he, he tr God transformed him. I mean, he did. He did some changes. Come on up here, New Jean. Do you have a mic on? Do you have a mic? All right, I was going to say, we're not going to be able to hear you. Oh, by the way, you guys um, meet our friends here, our, our floating cows and pigs and chickens. We named them. Our chickens are called sweet and sour. You like that? I don't know. That was Rick. And our cows was called um, lunch and dinner. I don't know. And then I named the pigs lucky one, lucky two. I don't know, but they work this week with these kids. And aren't they cute? I think everybody should have one of these floating around their house every day just to remind you to be a kid sometimes and have fun. But it was a fun weekend, wasn't it, New Jean? Oh, yeah, it was a beautiful time. I learned so much. I learned so much. What'd you learn? Well, I learned one thing. You can't feed them pigs uh, cheese pizza. You can't feed the... Right, that's right. What do you feed them? You got to feed them that whole feed. It's got all the supplements and all the minerals and the vitamins in there for it. That's right. And how did you learn that? From my friend, old McDonald. From your friend, old McDonald. E-I-E-I-O? No, his name was Homer. The pig's oh, name was Homer. I don't know yeah, the E-I-E-I-O that's, stuff. That's, no E-I-E-I-O. Okay. Well, you did learn that, and you did it through a friend. 
And yeah. it's the same way we should have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah, he can be our best friend. That's right, no matter what. We learned about Zacchaeus, didn't we? Yeah, Zacchaeus, he's that little guy, wasn't he? He was the real little guy. He didn't have much legs to him, did he? No legs, just all hands, it seemed like. But and Zacchaeus, he was a greedy guy, wasn't he? He didn't love God. He didn't really know God. But God came and found him. And when he came and found him, he changed him, just like the heart farmer helped change you. Yeah, all McDonald's really helped me. That's right. And Jesus Especially can with do the, the Gatorade. same thing. That Gatorade stuff really straightened me up. I taught you water to different plants with different flavors of Gatorade. No. I learned that. That's right. Learned you that. learned it. Yeah. But also in our lives, boys and girls, there can be some hard times. Put your fist. Make really, these are like rocks sometimes. We're just going to pretend like these are rocks. Put them on your legs if you can. And sometimes in life, we'll go through hard times. Well, the soil is really hard. We're, we're having a hard time in our lives. Things are happening, and it's just like, pretend like this is a rock, and it's so hard, and you're like, oh God, are you there? Do you hear me? Do you know me? Do you remember what I'm going through? Has there been any times like that in your life, New Jean? Well, sure there have been. I, rem I remember now. You remember what happened? Oh yeah, I think I just got a revelation. Okay. <laughs> a revelation, okay. <laughs> I, I remember when I was a little boy, my name all passed away, mm -hmm. and it felt like my heart was gonna, like that rock hit me right there so hard. I didn't think I was going to make it. Yeah. Well, then I prayed and I said, Jesus, I don't know how in the world I'm going to get through this. And I need you. I need you to be my best friend. And before I know it, I felt peace come all over my heart. And it feels like it just went all back together. And everything was good for me. That's right. Because Jesus will always love us. Always. He's our friend. That's right. So we have to remember that, boys and girls. When we leave today, no matter what, no matter how hard the rock is, remember this is the rock, just let it go now. And when you let your hand go, it just becomes so much more peaceful. That's Jesus beautiful. will bring you that's that peace, right. and that's who Jesus is. And then there's times, remember, New Gene, about the seeds? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I remember these seeds. Remember these seeds? Yeah. This little old rough piece of paper ain't much, is it? No, it's just a piece of paper. But there's seeds inside there. There's seeds inside this little fella. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? Well, what you got to do is you got to get it down in, the, in some good soil, some good rich soil. And you sure don't want to put Gatorade on it, I'll tell you that right now. You want to put some good water on it. And what happens is, them seeds will take root and they'll grow. That's right. Just like when Jesus comes in your heart without living water. That's right. Things happen, baby. That's right. Things oh, yes. do happen. Don't things it, moms happen. and dads? Yes, things happen. When you throw this into the soil and you start watering it, before you know it, there's going to be a little sprout come up. And before you know it, that sprout's going to get bigger and bigger oh, and yeah. bigger. And what's going to happen, New Gene, when it gets oh. real big? Oh, it's going to be a beautiful thing. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Oh, yes, it will be. And that's all because you have a friendship with Jesus. Jesus will always love us. Us. Oh, Back come friend. on. Jesus will always love us. One more time. Jesus will always love us. All right. Well, we're going to sing a song because God is so good all the time. All right. So let's get to our feet. Stand on our feet. Not get to our feet, but let's stand on our feet and let's sing a song about God being good. Oh, 
have all of our farm hands come up front here and they're going to share how they grow in their friendship with Jesus and come up the front guys okay okay we're going to start here with Chelsea I grow in my friendship with Jesus um, by being completely honest with him, the good and the bad, because I find when I'm honest with God, um, he can come in and change those things that are bad. Um, and leaving for Kenya tomorrow, he will be my only friend in Kenya. Um, for the time being, hopefully I'll make some. So, um, I grow in my friendship with Jesus by keeping a journal. I write in my journal almost every night. Um, and it's really cool to be able to go back and look and see how much growth I have made. I grew in my friendship with Jesus by doing ministry and sharing God's love. I grew in my friendship with Jesus by dancing and showing God's joy. I grew in my friendship with Jesus by reading my Bible and I learned new things. I grew my friendship with Jesus by praying, but not just praying for things that I need, but things that other people need too. Oh, yeah. Um, I grew my friendship with Jesus by singing to him and just worshiping him and telling him how much I love him. And we're going to sing a song about Jesus being our friend. Good job. Look how that corn stalk grow, grew. So right now we're gonna sing this song about Jesus being our friend. Because we wanna be like that corn stalk. We wanna grow in our relationship with Jesus. There's a need in every one of us. It's written in the code of who we are. To know
And that's what this weekend was all about, just knowing that Jesus is our friend, that he loves us, that he cares. He cared for Zacchaeus. He cared so much that he died on the cross. But the cool thing is, is he came back in three days so that we can live forever and ever and ever. And that's what this whole weekend was about. It was fantastic. It was wonderful. And we're glad that you let us come in this morning and share it with you. We also want to thank everyone, everyone here in a green t-shirt, stand up. And even if you didn't wear your green t-shirt, stand up. But these are all the people that helped make this weekend a wonderful weekend. I couldn't have done it without them. If I had a million dollars, I'd pay you guys a million dollars. But guess what? I don't have a million dollars. But I'll tell you next year, I'll be coming and finding you again. Yeah, new Jean, you got a million (laughs) dollars? I told you to stand up if you didn't even. Oh, I said, even if you didn't have a green shirt on. Okay. You got to turn your hearing aid up, okay? You're getting a little old on me. But anyways, these people made this weekend a wonderful weekend, and I thank New Jean for being, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, for being here. And I want to thank the Tuies. I know they're over next door right now, but they are cooking up hamburgers and hot dogs for these kids. So we invite everyone to take their kids next door. When it's gone, it's gone. So you better be hurrying up and getting over there. But before we do, the kids want to sing Let's Get a Little Crazy one last time. And we'd like for the parents to get up here and dance around with your kids. Have fun today. This is Jesus' day. So it's a day of just having fun and celebrating what he is all about. Thanks for coming. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, we're all in this together and we're having fun. We're here to spread the love of God to everyone. Gonna get a little crazy and a little wild. Here we go now. Come give it a try. Move it to the left now. Let's give all these workers and these kids a big hand. Awesome job. Okay, everybody, if you would, stand one final last time. Uh, I want to dismiss you today. I want you to know when you leave here today that you're blessed. You need to know all week long that you're blessed wherever you go in. You're blessed wherever you go out. You are blessed at your meal, your food in the bowl, but you're also blessed out in your occupation out in the field. You're blessed whether you're in the city or country. Your family and your home is blessed. 
Everything you put your hand to is blessed this week. Your job, everything. Everywhere you put your foot down is blessed. Those that bless you are always going to be blessed. Those that don't bless you, don't worry about them, okay? Let God take care of them. Most of all, you upon the earth be a blessing to everyone you come in contact with. Make somebody else's life better. Let that be your guiding light this week, okay? We love you. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.